a low sewer back and this time we have a MacBook to repair. MacBook Air. Hmm? Can you fix a MacBook? What do you think? I will say let's test it. I don't know too much about this laptop. Uh, it's coming from a computer business, but I have no info. So let's see what it's doing. I haven't tested, so I don't know nothing about this laptop. Uh, power meter. So plug in the charger. And the meter, it is coming on. 5 volts and nearly no current. And the other port. 5 volts and nearly no current. So the PD controller is not speaking with the charger. I will say let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice small motherboard. And it's looking good. I mean, I can't see liquid damage or, you know, like sign like someone actually work here. And also no fingerprints. That's nice. Okay, let's do some checks, yeah? Let me plug the charger. And let's see what we have here before we are uh, pulling out the schematic. I mean, for MacBooks, we can find schematics, so uh, that will not be a problem. So what do we have here? We have zero volts. I'm assuming this capacitor is on the battery, but not sure about that. This one zero. We have a bunch of capacitors here, which I'm not sure what they are doing. I don't know the schematic of this one. But clearly, uh, we have no voltage on the board. Let me take the connector out. So the connector is out. Switching to beeping. Ground plus, check there, zero ohms. I mean, this is something what you can check without schematic on like any laptop. Here, here is no short. Okay, probably this is the backlight, I'm assuming. But this capacitor, the plus of the capacitor having zero ohms, is not a good sign. Then I can see MOSFETs, capacitor, another capacitor, like one ohm, 0 0.9 ohms, 0 0.9. I mean, whatever capacitor I'm checking on this board uh, is short. I will say, uh, let me grab the thermal camera. Anyone say Dizzy Pizza? Yeah? <laughs> uh, probably Dizzy Pizza. I mean, this looks like a shorter capacitor. Let me power up the thermal camera. Power supply, we are lowering the voltage. We don't need high voltage to find a short. So the current, let me lower the current before we are understanding with what we are dealing here. Because it is important to see what kind of resistance the short has. And you can see that after you come with the current. And then you follow the voltage and you can figure it out what kind of resistance you have there. So we need a ground. I'm assuming this is ground. Yeah, it must be ground. Okay, I found a better ground. Then capacitor, and we have like 0 0.5 volts. So actually the resistance is not that low. The resistance of the short. What is that? One second. Uh... Yeah, that one, that one, what is that? There is a short, you can see? So I believe there is some capacitor. Yeah, this one. Huh? So actually it's an electrolytic capacitor, I can't believe. Let's be sure that's the problem. Now, let's come with some alcohol. Perfect. And now we are doing the same with the power supply. So coming with current here. And which capacitor? 
Yeah, that one, you can see. So the first one, the alcohol is getting evaporated, this one. So I believe that capacitor is gone. Now the solution, the solution is very simple, yeah? We are removing the capacitor, 480 degrees. Let's remove the capacitor. And the capacitor is removed. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this capacitor? Can we check the capacitor? Yeah, we can. So with the multimeter, check that, check on the screen. You can see the capacitor is shorted. But what about the capacitor place? Is this shorted? No, you can see it's not short now. You can see, no short. So we found the problem. We found the problem. Now, let me cool down the motherboard quickly. Perfect. Plug in the battery. The battery is plugged in. Let's plug a charger. Plug in the charger. Okay, that's that's what happened when the, the phone is ringing when you are doing a video. So the laptop is taking like 90... It's, so the laptop um, has like 19 volts, 1.2 amps. And yeah, I have to edit the video. But yeah, it's working fine. Let me shut down the laptop. Perfect. So what do you think about that? Huh? This is a common fault on MacBooks. And uh, I will say probably around uh, like 30-40% of the faulty MacBooks are actually capacitors. Like on this case, I didn't expect to be like an electrolytic capacitor to be faulty. But, you know, looks like, you know, on the, on the MacBooks, even the electrolytic capacitor are getting faulty. I was expecting a ceramic capacitor, but yeah. Replacing the capacitor, maybe on the next video, maybe on the next video, yeah? It's, it's a more delicate operation. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is uh, you don't need a schematic. You don't really need too much knowledge. Uh, to fix, like how I said, around 30, probably 40% of the MacBooks, which they, 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 that, that's, that's a common fault, man. not only on the MacBooks, like on any like laptop, you will find like a shorter capacitor, especially on uh, liquid damage laptops. The capacitor are the first to die. Easy pizza? Definitely it's an easy pizza. I didn't op even open the schematic, so yeah. We didn't took the board out, so 100% it's an easy pizza. Kind of like a two large, uh, two large pizzas. Well deserved. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you